Michael H. Levin recording In Darwin's Mind, Galapagos, 1835. From unfathomable depths like cinder cones uplifted by a fiery tidal floor, the thought flew skyward, caught the light, skimmed feather-edged across black lava beds and sulfur vents, his hobnail boots crunched tentatively on. This land is new. Might all its living oddities be new as well? What force could split a bluefoot diver nesting on dry ground from redfoot cousins squawking on bent sticks above? What curved the beaks of mockingbirds a fraction more than those on neighbor isles, so puzzlingly, puzzlingly remeasured on his long sail home? He could not see these islets marching by inches towards the east as new ones rose behind, repeating speciation on a global scale, and took three decades more to plumb that five-day tour of hatchlings murdering for life, an ocean mother of islands, and change the mother of all. Yet never really left the razor cliffs and blue lagoons where first he glimpsed, then fiercely as a hawk pursued past pinnacles and comforting belief, the infinite branched fingers of a ceaselessly evolving God.